top of the morning. It's Monday, September 18, 2017 and welcome to the brand new Fox News First, your home for all the headlines you need to know first thing in the morning and your preview of the day ahead. If you are a subscriber to Top Headlines, you can continue to get your early morning news fix and so much more right here. In the meantime, please spread the word and tell your friends they can subscribe to Fox News First by clicking here at foxnews.com first. Here's your Fox News First 5 The first five things you need to know today A Trump Organization lawyer is expected to talk to the Senate Intel Committee this week. Fox News confirms Hurricane Maria is strengthening as it swirls towards the Irma-battered Caribbean islands. Dozens of protesters are arrested in a third straight night of violence in St. Louis following the acquittal of a white police officer in the shooting death of a black man. Donald Trump was the star of the 69th annual Emmys as a long line of celebrities, led by host Stephen Colbert, took shots at the president. Chelsea Manning fires back at critics I'm not an American traitor let's take a deeper dive, shall we? The lead story Michael Cohen, lawyer for the Trump Organization, is expected to testify behind closed doors before the Senate Intelligence Committee this week as part of the committee's Russia investigation. Cohen confirmed to Fox News that he'll be speaking with the Senate Intel Committee to Tuesday in a closed session, similar like Donald Trump Jr.'s interview with the committee two weeks ago. Why does this matter? Cohen is one of the latest of President Trump's associates under scrutiny for his contact with a Russian official during the 2016 presidential campaign. In January 2016, Cohen, the Trump Organization's executive vice president and previously President Trump's special counsel, had emailed Russian President Vladimir Putin's press secretary looking to speed up the development of a Trump Tower in Moscow. Documents showed, in a letter sent to the House Permanent Select Committee in August, Cohen explained that the proposal for Trump Tower Moscow was similar to previous real estate projects that were contemplated years before any campaign. First Harvey, then Irma. Now, maybe, Maria A. Strengthening Hurricane Maria swirled toward the eastern Caribbean, with forecasters warning it would likely become a major storm by the time it passes through the already battered Leeward Islands later today. Maria grew into a hurricane Sunday, and forecasters said it could become much stronger over the next 48 hours as it followed the path near many of the islands ravaged by Hurricane Irma and on to Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic and Haiti. No justice, no peace in St. Louis riot police were rushed to the streets of downtown St. Louis amid reports of significant property damage Sunday, the third night of violent protests after a white police officer was acquitted in the shooting death of a black man. This is no longer a peaceful protest, St. Louis police tweeted. They said officers made multiple arrests after agitators hurled debris and smashed windows. The days of protests began Friday when a judge ruled Jason Stockley, a 36-year-old who left the department and moved to Houston three years ago, was not guilty in the 2011 death of Anthony Lamar Smith. More protests are expected today. Maybe Trump should have won an Emmy to the surprise of no one. The 69th annual Primetime Emmy Awards got political and the president was the punching bag. Host Stephen Colbert, who is no stranger to controversial and offensive remarks about Trump, devoted most of his opening monologue to the commander-in-chief. The next jab came from Alec Baldwin, whose impersonations of Trump. Mornings with Maria, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern Time guests include the coming collapse of China author Gordon Chang and Overstock.com founder and CEO Patrick Byrne Varney Company, starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Time guests include Americans for Tax Reform President Grover Norquist Cavuto Coast to Coast, starting at 12 noon ET guests include Karl Rove on This Day 1987 psychological thriller Fatal Attraction, starring 
Michael Douglas and Glenn Close, was released by Paramount Pictures 1975 newspaper heiress Patricia Hearst was captured by the FBI in San Francisco, 19 months after being kidnapped by the Symbionese Liberation Army 1970 Jimi Hendrix died in London at age 27 1927 The Columbia Phonograph Broadcasting System later CBS made its on-air debut with a basic network of 16 radio stations Thank for joining us on Fox News First have a great day and see you in your email box first thing tomorrow morning.